Typically, when you have heart failure, you're living at home and you're okay, and then you start to exacerbate. You end up in an emergency room, you're admitted to a hospital, and the patient goes through quite a bit of pain going through this cycle, and then when they're home and stable, we remove everything, and we wonder why two weeks later the patient is hospitalized. Telehealth is the ability to use technology to monitor patients. It's basically a way to have a virtual doctor's visit with the patient being comfortable at home and not having to come to the doctor's office. It looks like a small computer with a camera at the top. They press a button and the camera comes on and the nurse is talking to them on the screen. You're taking your medications, correct? Yes, I have. Okay, good. Any chest pain? Chest pains, no. Okay, any dizziness? When I first sit up or stand up, but it lasts only 10 to 20 seconds. That's due to your medication and can cause the dizziness if you move too quickly. Those symptoms should go away and then you'll let me know if it still persists. I'll keep track of it. I've been researching telehealth management of heart failure for the past nine years, really researching to see what kind of things are important to know about using telehealth technology with patients. What works for what patients at what times. It means I don't have to wait until I feel pain to have them know that something is not right. It avoids a lot of unnecessary suffering and it alerts the medical staff that something needs to be done. By getting them involved, they're more in tune than what needs to be done in order to feel better, stay out of the hospital, and live longer. My ideal scenario overall is to be able to make sure that we can best manage the patient at home. Uh, make sure that they can stay home and healthy for as long as possible.